And now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Dickens. Well, we were talking at the top of the hour there of that potential to see some northern lights. Well, let's take a look at the visibility forecast here and see what we're expecting. Unfortunately, to start the night, yeah, we are going to see some clouds, maybe even some rain move through. But as we get deeper into the night, here's 11 o'clock. You can see those clouds start to wear out, and we do clear out and actually stay clear pretty much all weekend long until we get to Sunday night. That's where we're tracking our next storm potential there. And there's 10 p.m. on Sunday, but by that time, I think those northern lights will be pretty settled down. So hopefully get a chance to get out and enjoy them because this is going to be one of the strongest geomagnetic storms we've seen in several years, almost uh, uh, in some cases, uh, I think near two decades since we saw one this strong. So good chance to see them. Next 24 hours, showers do move in late. We will dry out, though, pretty quickly. And as we head into the weekend, a very nice weekend ahead until we get to Sunday. Then Sunday night, we bring some storm chances in, and that's going to segue into our week next week and stay very active actually pretty active week ahead take a look at radar here's our next storm system that'll be moving in as we head into the evening hours tonight until then though things will be mostly clear throughout the day we'll see a few passing clouds and here comes that activity about eight nine o'clock you can see very very isolated and i think uh really favored more northeast of the quad cities in the tv6 viewing area into the chicagoland area but maybe areas like Princeton, Kewanee, up towards Sterling Rock Falls. You can see a quick shower move through. It's going to be quick, and then once we get that to move through, we clear out and get to enjoy a beautiful day on Saturday into Sunday as well. The first half of Mother's Day is going to be nice. Once we get to the evening hours, here's 3 o'clock, so afternoon, we're trying to spark off some thunderstorms here. It doesn't look severe at this time, but uh, we could see some widely scattered activity. Uh, and yeah, maybe one or two communities getting some in, into some of this activity. So not everybody's going to see rain, but you could. So you, if you got any plans outside for Mother's Day, bring an umbrella or have that umbrella handy or a place to go inside if one does move through. Those will kind of linger on through 10 o'clock and beyond into Sunday night into Monday morning. That's when some uh, more concentrated activity moves in come Monday and uh, kind of segues into a very active week where we have near daily chances of precipitation. Temperatures today, though, once we get that sun to really come out, which we are now seeing uh, 70s in store for us. How about that? Very seasonal for this time of year. Uh, low 70s are typically our highs, so right on par with that. Tonight, with the clearing, we'll drop into the 40s. Uh, pretty seasonal as well. And tomorrow, 72 degrees. So I think that's like the perfect temperature right there. Now, once once we get to Sunday, I actually bumped up the high temperature. This has been a model trend here, getting us into the 80s with enough sunshine, and that's probably what's going to help uh, kind of fuel those thunderstorms that develop in the afternoon. Again, nothing looking severe, but uh, can't rule out a heavy rain shower with a clap of thunder or two moving through. Sunday, definitely going to be the warmest day out of the next several. Long range, though, look at this. We stay in the 70s, but... I keep saying this, this trend here with this one model, big split. Once we get into the latter half of the seven day, uh, the, the uh, really the uh, idea of are we going to stay warm? Is it going to cool down? Still kind of split on that because look at that one model, 47 degrees. Right now it looks a little abnormal, so we're going to keep it on the higher end, but something that continues on, a trend there that we're going to be watching. Once again, active weather stays with us. As we head into next week, near daily chances of rain. In fact, long range on the precipitation accumulation. Yeah, we don't get into, you know, maybe an inch more, which is more than what we need, but you can see a little bit further off to the southwest. That's where some of the heavier activity is forecasted. Now, it is a long range model, so that could shift up a little bit. So Midwest as a whole continues to be active as we head into the next 10 days. For tonight, though, again, once we get to about 7, 8 o'clock, that's when our chances of rain increase. Then that system moves through, and we clear out for tonight into the 40s. And as we head into the weekend, very nice forecast. Mother's Day looking nice. Again, we're going to deal with some spotty shower, maybe a thunderstorm mm -hmm. as we head into the afternoon evening hours. 82 degrees, though. That's yeah. not too bad. And then staying in the 70s, but again, we're going to be tracking that trend as we get into the end of next week. Mm. Maybe a little cool down, so yeah. something different. 47 catches your eye, that's for <laughs> it sure. It sure does. All right, well, let's talk about what's trending today.